own girl. I promise you didn't know you could move like that. Today we've got something really exciting planned for you. Whether you're new to pole dancing or just looking to add some fun to your routine, you're in for a treat. If you stay till the end, this is the routine we will teach you today. There is nothing more electrifying than a good old and basic floor work routine. It's the foundation of every great pole dance journey and the perfect place to start improving your skills. This beginner friendly floor work routine is going to get you moving and grooving in no time. And the best thing, it doesn't look like a beginner routine. Trust me, it's going to be a blast. So guys, without further ado, let's jump right in. So guys, of course, we gotta start on the floor because it's floor work. Please make sure you have some socks. And of course, if you have some knee issues, your knee pads are ready, okay? Because yeah, we're gonna work on the floor. So let's start in a seating position. And you can come, so I'm on my left side, okay? You can do and train exactly the same side. So this is my left arm and I'm really pushing through the floor. Your right arm goes on the pole and we're gonna start moving with our right side. So you can relax your head, relax your shoulder and we start with our right leg, which is swinging to the front and we bring our right arm exactly at the same time towards the pole, okay? So one more time, we gonna look over our right shoulder or just look backwards and then you start with your leg swing and grab the pole. Really good. And make sure you can follow your arm movement with your head. Of course, we wanna have nice, beautiful feet. We wanna arch, so really pushing our chest to the front to have a nice and aesthetic position. One more time and let's kick. We're gonna watch and you're gonna take your leg back, take your head back and with the next kick, we wanna stand up, okay? And to have a dynamic stand up, I really push with my arm and I'm gonna go right on my left knee, okay? So let's do this one more time. Just a kick and a stand up. So we have our right arm on the pole and we're gonna kick and we're gonna stand up, okay? Really good. Okay, with the swing, we gonna swing, head movement follows and back, swing, stand up, good. So we gonna stand up with our upper body so you have a straight position. And then we gonna go just higher with our right arm. Make sure we go in a twisted grip because we are gonna perform an American turn on our knees, okay? Maybe you know this from standing. And of course we have uh, a lot of American turn tutorials on pole place, so you can watch them. We have different variations, squat um, and also knee variation. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? So you turn on your left knee, open up. So you're gonna be in a little diamond pose. So both knees are open and your toes, they are facing each other, okay? So let's do this one more time. Just this turn, this turn is a little bit tricky. So we have like not your palm, but the backside of your hand and you're gonna go in a twisted grip and it's a turn forwards. So I'm not turning backwards. I'm turning forwards, grabbing with my arm. Okay, your upper arm is pulling, your lower arm is pushing and I create distance. Okay, you create distance between your body and the pole. So push your hip forward. We don't wanna bend our hips. We wanna push our hips forward. And then we switch on the right knee and just make a little small tuck position. Okay, so we are gonna round ourselves. Let's do this one more time because this one is a little bit complicated. From the beginning, we have our first leg swing with the arm movement, swing back, take your head back, swing up, dynamic. Arms up, we're gonna turn, and then we go really small into a tucking position, okay? So pull your elbow down, and just remember, we're gonna go into a rolling movement, 
And because it's a shoulder roll, we need to place our shoulder on the floor, okay? I'm gonna show it to you. So just the shoulder roll first. So pull your elbow towards yourself, okay? So I really tuck the elbow under and I like to go in a cup grip. But you can do the shoulder roll with a normal grip, with a twisted grip, it doesn't matter. You can grip how you prefer. But I prefer the cup grip because I can pull a little bit easier. So then we go up and I take my head just right towards my chest. Okay, so you're really tucking, you really round yourself and then we can roll because when I pull my chin down, I can start the rolling movement. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Tuck your elbow under, but don't place your head on the floor because we wanna roll. And if you place your head, you will stop rolling. So you get one more time, just the shoulder. Place just your shoulder, go up, and now use your pole hand to really roll around the pole, okay? What we don't wanna do is just rolling forward because that's gonna stop our next movement because we wanna add some movement right there. We wanna add a forearm leg switch. And if you roll like this, you will not be able to just link your leg with the pole, okay? So let's gonna do we're gonna do the roll and I'm gonna show you the leg movement because you need to place your inner leg. It's gonna be your right one. So tuck your elbow under, roll, your face is facing the ceiling, pull with that pole arm, hook your inner leg and swing with the other leg, okay? This is how you can start your forearm leg switch I know it's a little bit, in the beginning, it's a little bit complicated to link the shoulder roll with the forearm leg switch, but it's gonna be really, really beautiful, okay? So it's gonna be worth it. Try it a couple of times until you nail it and you should really go around the pole. This is the key. Not 180, but we wanna go around the pole. Let's do this one more time. Tuck your elbow under. <coughs> and really work with this arm, okay? So then you don't go down. So I'm really pulling myself. And now roll, link, and really go fast with this um, leg circle, okay? Inside leg hooks and leg circle with your outside leg. Inside hook right leg, outside leg switch with the left one, okay? So a really, really dynamic leg circle. Let's do it all together, okay? So starting from the floor, we just look, just around our right shoulder, start your leg swing with the arm movement, head back and kick, come up. American turn. And then make yourself really small, tuck yourself under right leg, Swing with the left, and we're gonna end in our forearm. Like your left, it's gonna be here. You're kicking up with your right leg, and really make sure that you're pushing with your forearm, you're working out of your shoulder, and I'm also engaged my chest, so I'm pushing it to the front, okay? So sometimes we're gonna do it like this. <clears throat> Make sure, because the combination um, is ending right there. And sometimes when we end a trick or a movement, we're like, okay, I'm done. Please don't do this. We do, okay, we're done. And make sure you make yourself big. And we're gonna arch. And we're gonna just have a proud final position, okay? One more time. The whole combination and let's go, okay. We're gonna start on the floor. Left side is on the floor, right side is our outside, left side is our inside. And we're gonna start with kicking and our movement head goes back. More dynamic and American turn variation. 
tuck yourself, make yourself really small, big leg circle. And the end. And there you have it, a beginner-friendly floor work routine that's sure to bring a smile to your face. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about having a good time and enjoy the journey. So grab your pole, let loose, and let's start dancing. If you post it on TikTok or Instagram, tag us so we can celebrate your achievements. You enjoyed this little floor work routine? On Pole Place, we have more than 400 videos for you. Tutorials for your favorite moves, workouts for some strength or flexibility and much more. Give it a trial with our free seven day trial. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more fun tutorials. And if you still got some energy that you wanna blow, click here for five exercises that will step up your pole dance routine by gaining more strength and flexibility. Have fun.